So today I'm talking about a Chevy or GMC with the P0011 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0011 code? Well, it's an A camshaft timing over advance or system performance bank one. And what does this mean? Well, there's different components that manage the timing of the engine. There's sensors, there's a timing chain or timing belt. And inside of newer engines, there's a thing called variable valve timing and the variable valve timing helps the engine perform better at like higher RPMs. It can also help the engine get better fuel mileage and things like this. And there's different components with the variable valve timing, but basically the onboard computer seeing an error inside of this. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooted, know why. And so what are some possible causes of a P0011 code? Well, the first thing is gonna be low or dirty engine oil because the engine oil flows through the variable valve timing. And so if the oil's low or if it's really dirty, it's gonna affect the variable valve timing and it's gonna cause issues. And so for this reason, the first thing to do is go check your engine oil be sure it's not low and be sure it's not really dirty the next thing that could cause this problem is going to be there's something going on with the variable valve timing solenoid if you have a four-cylinder engine then there's going to be two you're going to have one on the intake side and then you're going to have one on the exhaust side if you have a v6 or v8 you're going to have four of them so what you want to do is you want to find bank one and bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder so if you find the number one cylinder that's going to be bank one the opposite of that would be bank two so right here, here's a Chevy 3.6 liter, and you're going to have one right here, you're going to have one right here, you're going to have one over here, and you're going to have one over here. The ones on the inside are going to be the intake, and the one on the outside is going to be the exhaust. But the next thing that could cause this issue is going to be a problem with the variable valve timing solenoid or solenoids. And when you're checking these out, be sure to check out the wiring, or basically keep in mind, anything wrong with the wiring, open, short, bad connection, is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad solenoid. So be sure to keep that in mind. If you check out the solenoids and they look good, there's nothing wrong with the wiring or anything like this. And then the next thing that could cause this problem is going to be these actuators. And these are located right up inside the front. And this is what the timing chain is going to be riding on, on the very top. And basically oil's falling through those solenoids into these actuators, and it's helping to adjust the timing and these don't usually go bad but they can fail sometimes so it's another component that can cause issues and another thing that can cause problems is going to be the timing chain has gotten old and stretched out or it slipped a notch or something like that and basically with the timing chain you have these timing marks and so what you do is you turn the engine until these line up be sure they're pointed right at each other if this dot right here was before or if it was after then you know that timing chain has slipped and that would be causing issues if the timing chain is the cause what usually happens is that they get old and so they get stretched out and so these timing marks will line up but when the engine's running the timing can get out of adjustment because the timing's old and stretched and so if the engine has a lot of miles on it and that timing chain or timing belt has never been replaced then it can also cause a p0011 code also keep in mind that the tensioner that keeps the chain tight that can also cause issues if it goes bad. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Chevy or GMC with the P0011 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.